Georgia's newest city has an election tomorrow. Residents of Mableton will vote for their mayor and city council member. But as Fox 5's Denise Dillon tells us, early voting was a bit lackluster. Not as many people came out for early voting as expected. And still, the more than two dozen candidates kept pushing, hoping for a bigger turnout Tuesday. Candidates for Mableton's mayor and city council were out knocking on doors and waving signs Monday night, trying to get people to the polls Tuesday. Only about 2,500 of the 47,000 plus registered voters cast their ballots in early voting. Turnout's been very slow. The Cobb County Board of Elections says it's had plenty of people calling and asking about the election, and they've tried to get the word out. We do uh, videos, we do social media, we did some letters. Still, some residents we talked to say they just didn't know. I had no clue that was going on. <laughs> Not even gonna lie to you. Did you know there was an election tomorrow? Um, no, because I've been working a lot. Did you know the election was tomorrow? I did and then forgot. Election officials say the low turnout is surprising since there's been so much controversy surrounding the new city. Since voters said yes to the city of Mableton in November, there's been a big push for de-annexation. Hundreds of people signed petitions. There was even a town hall. And State Representative Terry Cummings was working on legislation that would be a good compromise between those who wanted their own city and those who wanted out. It just um, got too complicated to try to resolve and the deadline was literally Friday. It ran into snag after snag after snag. The legislation didn't make it this time around, but she says she'll keep pushing for it, just as candidates are still pushing for votes. And there are some people who still aren't even sure if they live in the new city of Mableton. We'll put a link on fox5atlanta.com that will take you straight to the county's website where you can type in your address and it will show you if you live within the city limits. In Mableton, Denise Dillon, Fox 5 News.